Good morning and welcome to a special Veterans Day Eagle update. On today's segment, we will be covering the Veterans Plaque, local parks, last Thursday's concert, and talking to a local veteran. Today's November 12th and our Eagle update starts in five. November 11th is a special day across the country where we celebrate and honor those heroes who have served across the world. In honor of yesterday being Veterans Day, we would like to show the importance of being a veteran, and that's how our first story comes in. Lighten has created a way for Lighten alumni to be recognized for their service. Here's Mark for the update. As you walk in through Entrance 4, there is a plaque that honors the men and women who have served in the military that are a part of the Lighten community. Lighten has created a website that recognizes the service of any former alumni. Students can submit their name and the branch that they were a part of on the website. If you are interested in using the website, all you have to do is go to Lighten212.org, go under Community, and click on Alumni. From there you can go to Veterans and click on the links. You can submit the names of the veterans who have gone to Leiden and put their information in. And you could also see the list of Leiden veterans on the website. We were motivated by a desire to recognize all of those who have served, uh, those who attended Leiden and then went on to serve our country. And so we decided to create a plaque at each high school in partnership with the class of 2018 so that it's a reminder for all of our students and our community about those who gave and served our country. We think that the plaque and the website are very important because we want them to be constant reminders to our students and our community about those who came through these hallways at Leiden and, and then went on to serve our country. Thanks for the report, Mark. Another way veterans are honored locally is through the Veterans Park District. You drive past these parks every day, but most likely don't know the meaning behind them. Franklin Park, River Grove, Melrose Park, and North Lake all have parks dedicated to our fallen heroes. All connected parks help commemorate or remember a veteran of some sort, if that's from World War I, World War II, the Korean, or Vietnam War. Each and every single one of these wars had a lasting impact on our country. World War I saw over 110,000 American casualties, with one of these being Norman W. Trumbull. Trumbull Park in River Grove was later then named after him. World War II began after the bombing of Pearl Harbor on December 7th of 1941. This war saw the death of over 400,000 Americans. Grant Park in North Lake was named after Robert D. Grant, a U.S. bomber pilot whose plane was shot down by a Nazi anti-aircraft. Gwen Park, named after Ease Gwen, has a World War II Army tank on site, and Olsen Park contains plaques of Vietnam Vet Olaf Thomas Olsen. The Veterans Celebration Ceremony is held annually at Bulger Park. We had the chance to talk to four American Legion Auxiliary women who shared their husband's story. Hello, I am Pat Kowalski, and I'm very proud to be a, a wife of a Marine who fought in Vietnam in 64 to 68. And I'm also happy that my father was in World War II and he was in the Army and I'm very proud of every single one of our veterans because if it wasn't for our veterans, where would we be today? I'm Hildy Killian and my husband was Nick Killian. He served in the National Guard during the Vietnam War. Uh, he was blessed that he didn't have to go to Vietnam, but he served in the United States. And his biggest uh, encounter was with the Chicago riots. My name is Colinette Marshall. Uh, my husband served in the Marines for three and a half years in World War II and is 93 years old and is with us today. My father also was in the Army in World War II and served in New Guinea. Hi. My name is Betty Spencer, and my husband's name is William H. Henry Spencer III, and he served from 67 to almost 69. He was an engineer, and every time they would build a bridge, it would get blown up, so they'd have to build another one. And, um, but he was so proud what he did, and then he turned, and at the end, they asked him to stay a little longer, so he did, and he went into the infantry for a while, so a uh, very busy man over there. He was exposed to the poison Agent Orange, and that's what had taken him in at 68 years old. But proud all the way to the end. And um, I just hope young people will know that we need to help serve our country any way we can. Thank you. Hello guys, I'm Maya Garcia, and I'm here with some North Lake veterans to talk a little bit about what their service was like. So can you tell me your name? your service, what branch you were in, and how many years you served. Hi, my name is Jerry Quattrano. 
I enlisted in the Marine Corps, uh, 1970 to 1973. Awesome. And you? I'm Bud Madalinsky, U.S. Army, 1966 to 1968. Cool. And you? Joe Pavano, uh, U.S. Navy, 1969 to 73. Awesome. So, what does Veterans Day mean to you? Uh, Veterans Day uh, means a lot to me. It's um, especially the veterans that have died uh, serving our country. Uh, we wouldn't have what we have today if it wasn't for the sacrifices, the ultimate sacrifice that these men and women gave for their country. And uh, I don't want to go on forever here. So. <laughs> Very good. Very good. And what would you like to say to the youth about Veterans Day? Uh, veterans Day is an opportunity to honor living veterans. It really is. That holiday is a tribute to all living veterans. Thank you. Awesome. And how about you? They should study the civics and understand it and enjoy it. Thank you so much, guys. Next time you're at your local park, Make sure to stop and take a moment to remember these remarkable vets. Thanks for the update, Cap. And once again, Lion High Schools have come together to bring us the annual Veterans Day ceremony to acknowledge veterans within the community. This year's Lion Veterans Day ceremony featured songs, Freedom, Lest We Forget, Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy, and the home front performed by the Latin Band and Choir. The ceremony also includes readings by Mr. Gnofo, George Atkins, Bill McMurray, Tom Henniger, Reverend Paul Laws, Officer Dan Pavella, and Officer Joe Below. After the performance, we caught up with a local veteran and a Latin student to talk about Veterans Day and the performance. What does it mean to you? Uh, well, what it means to me is it just holds a special place in my heart. Uh, like I said earlier, that it's one thing we can do to repay our veterans. They've given so much, uh, and it's really nice to see everybody come out and pay respect to people that serve our country. Because um, I actually have uh, some family that have served, and. Um, some that are, are just getting out and I'm also actually going to be serving soon so this is actually very important to me because I, I love to see the, the support and, and gratitude shown by all these uh, family members and friends and I, I look forward to seeing uh, this tradition continue. We all know what a veteran is, but most people don't know what life is like once they leave the service. We met with a local veteran and talked to him about his story. Veterans Day is a day for us to remember and honor those who have served for us. We met with a veteran from the American Legion to discuss what he does for veterans. It's Rolando Zavala. I'm born and raised in South, South Chicago. I joined the Army in 2006, active duty until my medical retirement in 2013. My last deployment led to a couple of injuries due to uh, explosions, IED, and uh, another explosion. Started struggling a lot with uh, memory, memory lapses, migraines, a lot of suffering, things that I started noticing that weren't correct in my head. Um, I started seeking treatment and also returned after deployment. Um, so secondly, that led to my traumatic brain injury diagnostic, which resulted in my medical retirement. Since then, I have gone back to school using my folk rehab. And just last year, I completed my bachelor's at Northeastern. Uh, the bachelor's is with an emphasis on veteran recreational and exposure or social therapy. Um, I've done work with several veteran organizations in and around the city of Chicago. Uh, to name a few, Green Card Veterans, which advocates for the rights of veterans who are being deported despite their service. Veterans get a scuba certified 
um, as well as free scuba dives with a local nonprofit learn called Learn Scuba Chicago. We had uh, the honor of working with on another project with a professor from DePaul, Chris Green, who gathered 50 veterans um, from different areas that were from Chicago and put together a book called I Remember. Oftentimes in veteran circles is how a lot of conversations begins. I remember, or do you remember? Once those words kick into our heads, our minds tend to flood with memories, both good, bad, and different. And that's kind of what caught my eye about this project. So with that being said, I'll, I'll go ahead and read my insert. I remember waking to the blast as another of our guys was hit by an ID no farther than 200 meters outside of our cop. I remember talking to Grotto about scanning our sector. The next thing I know, I wake up on top of Grotto, who is screaming about his ears ringing. I can see Staff Sergeant Chavez screams at us, but I can't make out the words. I remember, every year, I remember. It said, I would like to ask that if you are watching this video, you feel you need some help, you feel that you got nowhere to look for, please reach out to these organizations that will be provided. Um, Chicago Veterans, IJF, Illinois Joining Forces, Chicago uh, Rush Road Home Program, uh, and several others. So there's a lot of new help out there and services that veterans and their loved ones can take advantage of. Now for the communities, what I can ask is again, help us identify those veterans. Help us encourage them to come out to these events. Join our Facebook groups, join our social media pages. Um, if you have any leads to any organizations, companies, services, people that would like to host and connect with veterans for whatever reason, to give back, to work with veterans, to understand more about veterans. Again, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thanks for the report, Franco. That's all the news we have time for today. I'm Bayo. I'm Caesar, And we... Thank you for your service. To all veterans out there, especially the Leiden Pride veterans, thank you very much for your service. Very, very courageous. Not all of us do that, obviously. And be safe out there. I'd like to thank all veterans, especially the ones I've had the opportunity to serve with. I would like to thank the veterans for standing watch so the rest of us can sleep soundly at night. <laughs> to all the veterans out there, I'd like to say thank you for protecting the greatest country on earth. I'd like to wish everyone a happy Veterans Day and I want to thank the Eagle Update for recognizing our veterans and I'd like to send a special shout out to my father who is a veteran of the United States Army and my niece and nephew Sam and Lara who actually are currently serving in the Marines and the Air Force. Thank you all for your service. Uh, my name is Beth Pater and I would like to say thank you to all of the veterans. Uh, we all should be appreciative of all of the freedoms and rights that we have because of the ones that you give up and you serve 24-7 which is something I think a lot of us should think about and we appreciate you more than just on today thank you hey I'm giving a shout out to my father-in-law all right the lieutenant colonel Richard Gournier for a lifetime of service in the US Army to all of our veterans out there we are so grateful for your service and keeping our country safe we appreciate you so much okay I just want to give a shout out to all the veterans especially my father who's a veteran of the Navy and my nephew who is a veteran of the Air Force, who did four deployments, two in Iraq and two in Afghanistan. Veterans are awesome. Thanks a lot. To all the veterans out there, thank, thank you. you.